The there is so minimum cost to reach a destination in time question. So we are given ages, which is a graph, and we also have the maximum time. We want to go from the source node to the um, destination node, and we must fulfill that the total time used should be less or equal to the maximum time. And then we wish to know what would be the least uh, parsing fee we need to pay. So the parsing fee would be the sum of the fee of all the nodes on the path. So if we choose the first road, then the passing fee would be 5 plus 1 plus 1, oh sorry, plus 2 plus 3. And uh, we should notice that the time in total would be 10 plus 10 plus 10, which is less than maximum time. But what if the maximum time changed to 29, then we cannot choose the first road, we can only go to the second road. And then the passing fee would uh, be 48. So how to solve this question? Uh, we notice that it's actually try to solve the shortest path question. But uh, in this case, the distance is not the real distance, but uh, the sum of the passing fee. So it's kind of a cost, a type of cost or distance. Uh, we, s we may think of the digestral algorithm, which is to make sure the first time we reach one node would be the time, the cost is minimum. So basically we can use the digestral algorithm to solve this question. And uh, at the same time, we just need to add uh, one restriction about the maximum time. Like when we reach each node, what is the time so far? If the time plus the time to next node exceed the maximum time, then we cannot add uh, the neighbor node. Otherwise, we can add it into the heap. But what about uh, the like uh, pruning? Can we be faster? Otherwise, it will make host time limitation uh, exceeded uh, error because there are so many nodes would be added to the heap. One thing we can do the pruning is that, well, let's, uh, I think I will draw this figure again. So we'll just, uh, uh, let's uh, see. Mm. Wait a second. So I'll just uh, go here, okay? So what I'm trying to say is that, let's suppose there are three node but actually this is the destination node so well if this is the uh, this one is the left uh, is the source node and then that's a target so there are two nodes here uh, the time here would be like two two one and the like the fee would be um for example it's uh, four and uh, maybe this is five etc well at the first we will like uh, I will give some name this is a B C D so for node a we will because the source node so we will uh, in queue that node and then we uh, it has been pulled to the queue then we have two neighbors to decide right to name B C so we can Put B to the Q, and uh, what would be the time? Time would be there too, right? And what is the fee? Fee would be, uh, no matter what is, it, it would be one plus four. It would be five, right? This is the fee. And uh, the same for the C. C would also be, um, offered to the Q, and the time would be one, and uh, the fee would be six, one plus five, six, right? And then things things this five is less than six so it this b would be pull from the queue first and then we check it has the neighbor of c and d right do we want to offer c again to the queue that's a question actually no why because 
Now, if we go to C, the time would become 2 plus 2 equal to 4, four right? But previously, the time would only be 1. So actually, it means the time become larger. If the time become larger, then it actually means uh, we uh, these parts would never be the result, one of the results, since, since we set the priority of the heap based on the um, passing fee. So anyone with the smaller fee would be poor first. So since the fee go to B is smaller than the fee go to C, so B has been pulled first. Um, at this time, the one we go to C, the fee would be larger and the time would be larger. So it's not, we don't need to offer C to the Q anymore since it would never be the result. So as you can see, we can do the pruning here. We should uh, have a minimum time array, which used to record the time um, to each node. So at the very beginning, when we offer and uh, pull A from the queue, we will add B, C to the heap, right? And then we update the minimum time to the C to 1. Uh, I mean, it means C, right? And equal to 1. So afterwards, when we pull B from the queue, the time from C would be 2 plus 2, which is 4, right? But since it's greater than 1, so we will not offer C to the queue. So we actually save the time. So that's the reason we need a, a minimum time to to do the pruning. Okay. The rest is the same as the typical digester algorithm. Okay, let's write it. First, the graph is represented at AG, so we need to change it to uh, agency list. So it would be uh, graph new array list. Since we know uh, the length of the list, the graph right in total is n so i equal to zero i less than n i plus plus and then graph add a new array list and then we iterate the h uh, h then ages then int from equal to h zero to equal to h one and uh, the fee would equal to h two and then graph um, get because this is a uh, on-directional uh, graph, so we get from and add uh, uh, the ending node, which is uh, 2 and the fee, which represents the weight, and get 2, add new int uh, from fee. So that would be the graph. Then we will use the priority queue. Uh, what would be saved inside would be uh, we will need to save the priority which is a cost we also need to save the time and uh, the node index so it would be an integer array and then we call it a heap and a new priority queue we should define the comparator which will be a b and uh, we just put the priority as the first element so it would be a0 minus b uh, zero. Okay, then we put the first node into the heap. The priority would be passing fee zero, and the time would be zero. Node index will also be zero. So while heap is not uh, empty, we will just uh, pull a thing from heap, and then we will know the curve cost is curve one, curve time is curve. One and the uh, curl node would be curl two. Um, then if uh, curl node equal to m minus one, we reach the target. So we just return curl cost. Otherwise, we will need to check uh, uh, its neighbor, which is graph get uh, curl node. And then for each one, we will get the next uh, node would be neighbor one, oh sorry, is zero. And uh, the next uh, time, what time to reach there would be neighbor one. Um, yeah, okay. So 
then we just check if the uh, if the time we used uh, to uh, reach the next uh, the next node exceed the maximum time or it exceeded the minimum time reach the next node we will just uh, continue so we also need a minimum time which uh, the size would be n and uh, since we get want to get some the mini the like the smaller thing so we first uh, fill it to um, integer max value so here if the time next time plus curl time like uh, we can just uh, write it give it a name so it would be well uh, well anyway so just uh, if uh, it's greater than maximum time so there's no way to use it or it uh, is greater or equal than minimum time. Uh, this is for the pruning. So it would be um, next node, right? It's a bit greater than continue. Otherwise, we just uh, uh, write uh, minimum time next uh, node equal to this one. And at the same time, offer this node to heap. Then with the the first would be the fee, right? So it would be curve cost plus passing fees. Uh, next node, and the time would. Be, this is the time, and then the next node index. So in the end, the return negative one. Okay. Oh, we didn't define an equal to passing fees. Passing fees or length. Mm. Okay. Thank you for watching. See you next time.